Well, good evening. We're going to have carols by candlelight. So I'm going to light the four candles of the... Try another match. Do forgive me. We're going to share a few carols, just a very brief thought, and get ourselves ready for tonight. Tonight is wonderful because it's the night Father Christmas comes, but there is something much, much more wonderful that we want to celebrate together. So we're going to have music from across the ages. We're going to start off with something very ancient, really. Uh, this just recognises that the Christmas message was shared 500 years ago. Piece of music written by Henry VIII. And it was shared by people from all levels of society. The most simple people right up to the kings. Uh, and this is one of a couple of pieces this morning, that uh, this evening, that Katie prepared for us last year. She... Played me, she played lots of music last year, which we shared for our Carols by Candlelight last year, and it's too good to not use again. So we're going to start off by having What Child Is This? If you want to sing along, the words are there. If you want to just enjoy the music, then do that.
the beautiful carol and sets the scene that picture of the baby in the manger which is what we celebrate the center of this wonderful season and we're going to share another carol which has exactly that same thing you'll appreciate that it's going to be the theme for our for this evening together together uh, this is another much more modern piece of music again it's going to feature katie and it's going to feature the band and it's the carol the cradle so we'll share this together now said so often how blessed we are to have the resources that we have people that can play that sort of music the band Katie on the piano the fact that we can worship in this way together is just wonderful I'm going to share one more video now this one hasn't got the words it hasn't got all the verses, so I couldn't decide what ver what verses I would use if I gave you the words. Uh, so I'm going to tell you what the chorus is. The chorus simply says, past three o'clock and a cold frosty morning. Past three o'clock, good morrow, masters all. So you'll appreciate it's another really old piece of music, but it's a slightly more modern arrangement. It's a little bit brighter than the first two carols we've shared. And the verses, that there are actually eight verses in the carol book. I could have chosen any of these. They say things like, born is a baby, gentle as may be, son of the eternal, father supernal. Seraph choir singeth, angel bell ringeth. Hark how they rhyme it, time it and chime it. There's other verses. There's one that says, cheese from the dairy, bring they for Mary, and not for money, butter and honey. 
And the last verse says, Thus they, I pray you, up, sirs, nor stay you, till you confess him likewise and bless him. It's saying that we, as modern Christians, need to be like the angels, like the shepherds, like the wise men, and go to Jesus and confess him, that baby in the manger, as Lord and Saviour. We often talk about the fact that Jesus grew up to be our Saviour. But the angels and the shepherds and the wise men and Mary and Joseph recognised Jesus as Saviour right from the outset of the story. And so a nice modern piece of music, I hope you'll find it enjoyable. Just remember the chorus, past three o'clock and a cold frosty morning, past three o'clock, good morrow, masters all. An interesting new version of a very old carol. Obviously normally in our meeting there's time for prayer and there is time for prayer. I'm going to put another video on and I just want you to take time to pray for the things that are important to you. I went to the hall the other day and took some video of the memory tree. That tree that is there uh, with so many people's memories just gathered in a beautiful way and just got this piece of video with uh, the music is the words to the infant king and just think of the things that you will pray for things that you want to bring to God things that are important to you and just a quiet prayer while we share this beautiful music and the beautiful images of, for some of us, people that we know well, for some people from your own past, but people that we want to bring to God, people that maybe we associate with this season, but bring whatever you need to, to God, just quietly as we share this lovely piece of video and this lovely piece of music.
I'm over so sorry, Rose says you're not seeing the video. Is that true? Right, I will just check what might be going on and hopefully fix it. So I'll try it again. Rose, can you let me know as soon as I start whether it's working or not, please? Dear loving Heavenly Father, whatever prayers we have made, accept those prayers. We know that we can bring them to you because you know everything about us, because you came to be one of us, the central message of this lovely season. And so we bring these prayers in confidence that you will answer whatever our need is tonight. Amen. Going to share a Bible reading and this is uh, John chapter 1 verses 1 to 12. In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. 
he was in the world and all, and through the world sorry and though the world was made through him the world did not recognize him he came to that which was his own but his own did not receive him yet to all who did receive him to those who believed in his name he gave the right to become children of god children born not of natural descent nor of human decision or a husband's will but born of god the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us we have seen his glory the glory of the one and only son who came from the father full of grace and truth that baby came in the form of a human baby and we're going to share another song this is something that the songsters have learnt over just this last uh, few months to sing at christmas we sang it out a few weeks ago uh, but it's uh, a lovely carol and it's something that we can all join in with it's sleep holy babe and there's some lovely graphics to go with it the words are there on the screen if you want to sing along but as i say some lovely graphics to go with it as well so sleep holy babe Again, we're really blessed to be given the choice of music that we have. And I would thank Ian for choosing that for something for us to learn. It was lovely. The Bible reading I shared talked about the light of the world. And we know that the light of the world is Jesus. John talks about the coming of Jesus, bringing light into the world. 
And there are so many sorts of light. Think of a torch beam, something that guides us through darkness. Think of the house light, just an ordinary bulb, chases away darkness from all around us and lets us rest and relax in comfort. Think of a laser, pinpoint accuracy, pointing things out that we need to see. I think of my camera and I have a flash to go with the camera. That flash means that everything can be captured just as we want it to be seen. Light does so many different things. But tonight is a candlelight service. And so we've got candles and I've seen at home, many of you have got candles uh, lit right now, which is lovely. Candles are really simple but not necessarily brilliant. They have not really much in the way of being able to light your way. They give off a little glow, which if you're close is lovely, but it doesn't glow very far. They're imprecise. You couldn't use a candle to point something out. And I certainly couldn't use one with my camera far too flickery and far too dim to get the best image. Perhaps the best thing about a candle is if we'd been able to meet together was the fact that with one candle we could light all the candles from just one. As I say, the Bible tells us that we're to be like Jesus and Jesus was the light. The Bible also tells us that we are to be like a candle. As I say, the candle is simple. We need a simple faith. But that simple faith, despite the fact that it might be not so brilliant, just a little bit of a glow, quite imprecise, far too flickery to make everything clear and plain is something that is really important because it's easily spread. If we have that light at the right place and the right time, it will spread to others and the light will grow. This Christmas, we welcome Jesus as the light of the world and recognizing that we go on to share the light that he gives us with a world that needs it so much. We're going to share two more pieces of music. One is a carol for us to sing along to if you wish. One is going to be really our benediction. But as I say, we were really blessed last year. Car uh, Katie prepared quite a lot of music for us and I want to use another piece that she prepared last year. This is the carol, Still, Still, Still. It's a German carol, uh, but it is just, it's really lovely and we, it's going to be our last chance to sing together. So if you want to sing, the chance is there while we look at Still, Still, Still.
Be still, sleep, and dream of the joyous day to come. Tomorrow we recognise that day when the Saviour came into the world. So we look forward to that time. We're going to share one more piece of music. As I say, this is going to be our benediction. Again, I haven't put the words to it. The, the tune is O Little Town of Bethlehem. You'll know it well and you may want to sing along. At least, I think there's probably two verses that you can sing to if you know the words. When you first hear it start, it's not O Come Let Us Adore Him. I haven't got it wrong on this occasion. The tune is O Little Town of Bethlehem, but I've chosen it really because it sets us up tonight for tomorrow. Because the last line says this, O come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. What a lovely prayer for tonight, knowing what tomorrow brings. So this piece of music is our benediction. And three lines from that beautiful song as a benediction. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. Where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. O oh, come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. God bless, sleep well, Wake tomorrow to know that our Lord Emmanuel has come. God bless.